This right here is the all new Farah 12 liter messenger bag, as well as their three liter sling available on Kickstarter right now. And I'll leave the link in the description. In this video, I'll tell you what I didn't like about the bags as well as what I do like about the bag. And hopefully by the end of it, it will help you decide whether this bag or these bags are going to be right for you or not. Full disclosure, Farah did send me these bags for my honest YouTube review. However, they don't get to see it before it gets published, nor do I get any money from it. However, I do get to keep the bags. If you are new to my channel, I'm Desi Chang, and I primarily focus on bags and gear related to travel, EDC, everyday carry, as well as photography. First, let's take a quick look at the basics. Feel free to pause or take a screenshot of the specs on screen. Up first, let's talk about this 12 liter messenger bag, and it's gonna be available in one other size, which is a 15.5 liter one, so it's a little bit larger than this one. So now let's talk about what I didn't like about this bag. So first of all, I would have preferred it if they actually had a single buckle as opposed to two, and that's just for just speed of use. You know, me opening and getting into the bag, you gotta like, I mean, the, the buckles are fairly easy to attach and detach, but it's just much faster if I just had one single, um, you know, maybe a larger buckle in here but that's just my personal preference um and then the also uh the other thing i didn't quite like was just um, i was never a fan of the messenger flap style and that's just because when you are wearing it on your body and you always have to kind of lift it up open it up and this flap just kind of keeps on flopping and trying to get into the way i have to try and you know kind of like fissure it and kind of keep it open it's just kind of annoying and for me personally i like bags that are you know maybe they have a smaller flap that will flip open the opposite way or if they had a zipper a horizontal zipper across here then i can really just open it up and really easily see the bag without having to deal with a flap that kind of gets in the way that just but again Again, that's just my personal honest opinion. Um, the other thing that I wish was that on the back side, if I feel like there should have been a quick access zipper for a, a small sleeve for me to put like travel documents. So like passport or boarding pass or things like that. Um, now I know there are other quick access zippers that you can access onto the side, which I'll get to later on in this video. However, it's not, I mean, you just kind of like unzip it and you can't really see it in just one big pocket. Sure, you can put a passport in it, um, but if I had other travel documents and, and papers and things are folded in half or, or envelope size, uh, then, you know, having something up here would have been much better and it would be easier for me to see what I need to kind of get. Um, and then the other thing that I felt what could be improved now, this is a pre-production model, so maybe the production model might be a little bit different, is that there's a little bit of an overhang. So uh, ideally, when you're looking at a messenger bag, it's gonna be symmetrical. However, if you look at it, um, this part, there is a little bit of an overhang, which is nice, because if it is raining, water will not get into this side at all. However, this side right here, there it's it's not like it's literally just in line. So no water will not get in 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 here, but it's just right in line with the actual main compartment of the bag. Whereas this one actually has a little bit of an overhang of a couple millimeters. So uh, you know I feel like this top flap should be shifted a little bit over so it could be equal when it's uh, flapped closed. Um, and then it's just a small little minor detail, but I'm, I'm hoping that in the actual production model or production design. Uh, it will be fixed. Uh, the other thing that I feel like could be improved was just the strap length. So uh, this is not the final production strap. They're actually sending me a different strap to replace this one for, uh, for the webbing. Uh, they have a better better quality one. Um, but, but my problem isn't really with the quality, it's actually with the length. So even when you extend it to the maximum length, um, it's just not very long. So especially if you're gonna be wearing a jacket or, or, or you're a bigger bodied person, this is gonna be tough to kind of get around your entire body. Uh, and on that note, now um, it would be nice, now I know that they can actually remove the strap right here, but it's not like a quick access thing. I mean, I would have liked a quick access buckle where I can you know, quickly snap off and then you know, put it on my body and then snap it back on. That would have been nice um, to have on me. Um, and yeah, that's essentially it for uh, you know, things I disliked about this messenger bag. 
So now let's get into the likes I have with this bag. Uh, the first off is this weatherproof material. It's made out of virgin nylon and has a waterproof carbonate coating. And so this bag is gonna be, uh, yeah, you don't really have to worry about putting a rain sleeve on or anything like that. If you're gonna be biking or just walking around, this thing is weatherproof. Uh, so that's number one. Uh, the second thing is it has a 360 degree padding. So there's padding all around here, the top, the sides, the bottom. Um, there's padding everywhere. So if you had a camera or if you had other electronics on the inside, lenses, things like that, uh, laptop, you don't really have to worry about it uh, being damaged or crushed or hit or anything like that. Uh, it's just got a 360 padding. Um, the other thing I like, it, it has a grab handle. So some messengers don't have grab handles, this one does. And it also doubles as a luggage pass-through handle. So if you're traveling, you got your trolley handles, it will go right through this, which is great. Um, as for the strap, it is ambidextrous. So then, um, if you are right shoulder or left shoulder, you can just, you know, take, feed it through this kind of a, a buckle right here, um, and then flip it around so you can wear it on your left or your right shoulder, no problem. Uh, the other point is it has seven strips of reflective stripping. So you got some, you know, right here, right here, right here. You got some on the side right here. So if you are biking, if you're riding at night or, or walking around at night, there are some um, reflective strips on the bag, which is great, uh, great for safety. Um, looking at to the back, comfort wise, um, that's the, when this is resting on your lumbar or your back or, or whatever, um, it has a nice raised kind of padding. It's nicely ventilated, it's cushy, and it's got some nice ventilation channels here and here. Um, so overall, it's a fairly comfortable bag. And the last thing I really like about this bag is that it has lots and lots of pockets and dividers and lots of organizers. So um, at the front right here, there are two side stash pockets. So even when you do have the buckles closed, you can still access those side pockets, which is nice and handy. You do have another zipper right, zipper pocket right here for other small items. And there is a stash pocket right in here. Now, when you're looking at to the main compartment, this is kind of where the magic is. Um, there are so many things with this bag. So first off, you got this nice little elastic right here, just to kind of keep the shape of the bag and to kind of keep it kind of compressed, um, but you can expand it nice and large. Uh, when you are looking, let's look at this one side first. There are so many organizers. At the front right here, you do have this kind of one stash pocket, or sorry, they have two kind of thinner, smaller, medium pockets right here. You also have this one larger pocket. And then within that, there's a few dividers right there. There's one, two, three smaller dividers if you had pens or a pocket knife or, or something like that. Um, on this side right here, you have this a, a magnetic kind of clasp closing and it's felt lined and the same thing happens on both sides. So if you had, did have sunglasses, you can kind of put your sunglasses in on that side or that side. There is a zippered pocket right here. And this would be great if you had valuables, uh, your travel documents, cash, anything like that, that would go nicely in there. And it does have this uh, nice little key leash that you can kind of keep tucked away. Um, now, when you're looking onto either side right here, this bottom is padded. So if you did have a camera, you could totally, you know, stash it in there. Uh, and then on this side and this side, I really like this because this is different compared to some of the other bags here is it has this kind of padded divider, but it's not really a divider. It's more like a, a padded space here. So you can put your water bottle in here, or if you had a camera lens, you can put your camera lens in here. Um, yeah, possibilities are kind of endless. And not even that, there is actually an additional pocket on either side to stash even more things. If you had like, you know, AirPods or, or your DJI mics or anything like that, you can have more stash pockets just on the side. And then when you're looking at the back of the bag right here, there is a tab. I really like these tabs. Uh, this is a padded tablet sleeve. And then this is a laptop sleeve, which fits up to a 16 inch laptop. And then just the last thing I really like about this bag is just this uh, strap. The strap is very comfortable. It's um, got, it's very thick, it's wide, it's cushy, it's comfortable. This is a great pad, shoulder pad. Uh, and then to adjust it, it's extremely easy. It just has this kind of one pull buckle that you can easily pull tighten or loose. So uh, that is one thing I really, really enjoy about 
uh, about the strap. Now let's switch over to the three liter sling and I'll tell you about what I didn't like about this bag. So the first thing comes with the uh, strap length. So again, this is not confirmed yet, uh, but I feel like the strap length is just a little bit too short, even when you are in the uh, maximum, the longest length right here. I just feel like if you're wearing a large jacket or if you're a larger person, this is gonna be kind of difficult to kind of get around your body. The second thing is there's no quick release. So yes, you can take it off, but it's gonna take a little bit, a few seconds more, uh, but I wish it was a quick release. So you can actually just unbuckle and then put it around your body and then buckle it back on. Uh, that would have been nice uh, as a sling. And uh, but other than that, again, I, this is a pre-production model, so I'm not too sure if they will extend the strap or not. Um, but that's just, you know, one note about that. Uh, the other thing I just wasn't a fan of was just, again, kind of like my, like what I said about the, uh, the messenger bag was just this top flap opening because when you do have that top flap opening and you're kind of accessing that bag, the top flap kind of gets in the way. So you're, if it's on your body, just kind of there and it's just, uh, I don't really like it. So I just wish that it was just kind of maybe even just like one large zipper um, or even just a small little flap that opens up the opposite way. Uh, I, that would have been preferred for me. And then the last thing I didn't really like about it was uh, kind of, again, kind of similar to the messenger, but there was no, there was no quick access pocket on the back side or even the front side for me to access anything. I do have to kind of open up that main flap for me to access any pocket or zipper. Uh, or anything like that. So that's minimum two steps that I gotta take. I wish it was just one step, you know, one zip and then that's it. But now let's jump into the things that I do like. The first thing is the weatherproof material. So it's pretty much the same material as the um, the messenger bag. So it's made of that virgin nylon with a waterproof carbonate coating, uh, which is gonna keep this thing nice and waterproof. It does have the 360 uh, padding as well. So you got padding all around, not quite as substantial as the messenger bag, uh, but definitely good enough if you wanna put a camera or anything else that you want into it. The other thing I do like is that it does have, a, you know, the strap is the same. It's got, an, it's ambidextrous, so you can remove it from both sides. So whether you are a um, right, if you wanna wear on your right or your left shoulder, um, you can just kind of just undo the strap right here uh, and then change it around. On the back side, it does have a, a raised padding, not as much as the messenger bag, but this one just has a little bit um, and it's, yeah, it's gonna be great for comfort, air ventilation, um, and yeah. The other thing I liked about this bag was it had a magnetic clasp when you open it. So you don't have to fumble with a buckle or anything like that. You can just lift it up and boom, you can access your bag. And then the last thing that I really like about this bag is just, it's just got so many internal pockets. So after you open up that top flap, you have this kind of one zippered pocket. It's got two, uh, it's got dual zippers. It's gonna open from either side. And it's just one kind of like stash pocket for your quick essentials. And when you do kind of get into that main pocket, which again has two dual zippers uh, or has a dual zipper as well. Um, you just have lots of organizers, just lots of space. You can put a small camera in here. Um, right at the front right here, there is a zipper. And that is a fleece line. So this is gonna be a great space if you want to put your phone or your sunglasses or anything like that. Now in front of that, there is this magnetic um, kind of stash pocket, which is kind of stretchy and kind of opens wide, which is real, I, I really like. Um, and then when you're just looking at the bottom, you just have this nice big open space. And when you're looking at this side right here, you do have a pen pocket that's at the very, very, very top right here. Um, another zippered pocket if you want to put your, you know, your valuables. And within that, there's actually three kind of stretchy stash pockets. And that's going to be great for if you had things like an AirPod or anything like that. Um, and then in front of that, you just have kind of another uh, magnetic clasp um, stash pocket for larger, thinner items. So let's wrap this video up. You're wondering if you should get in on the Kickstarter or not. I mean, for the price, I think it's a great deal. Um, and secondly, I mean, if you are looking for a messenger bag, this one's pretty good because, uh, you know, it's made of that waterproof material. It's got that 360 foam wrap. So then it's, uh, you know, all of your contents, your gear, your electronics are definitely going to be protected. Um, if you are a photographer like myself, you, you, you know, you can put your camera or lenses on the inside. So it's, got, it's already built for that, but it's not like a camera bag. Um, and there's just so many internal pockets and compartments. Uh, so you'll be very well organized. Anyway, so if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more of these, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.